Hey guys, it's Mac and Zero back doing another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Joypad mod for Minecraft version 1.8. So you're going to need a few things, um, I have a few of them open here on the browser. You're going to need a Minecraft Forge, and you're going to need the actual Joypad mod. So to get Minecraft Forge, go to Google. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, go to Google, type in Minecraft Forge, and the first result, and then just click the, inst the install win. So this will uh, bring up an advertisement here. Don't mind any of this. Up here you'll see there will be a skip button. And then it'll start down here. So that can take a second to download. It's not that big. So we click that just to open it. Click yes. Uh, it'll bring up a pop-up. You don't have to change any settings. This is all fine. Just click OK. It'll install and say uh, successfully installed the client profile. That's fine. So that's Minecraft Forge installed, and now we're going to download the uh, actual Joypad mod. Again, to find it, go to Google, Minecraft Joypad mod, 1.8, and it's the top result, and you sh will see it there. So click that, it'll download again, or right, it'll ring up this, click here to download. Uh, it'll ask you here, do you want to keep it? Do. And that's the mod downloaded. So what we're going to have to do first now is to actually start up Minecraft with the forge to make sure it creates all the proper folders. So I'm just going to press the Windows key here, type in run. Then we're going to type in percentage app data percentage sign. All right, so it's a percentage sign app data app d a t a percentage sign. Click OK, and then it'll bring up this folder. Sorry, no. Yeah, it'll bring up this folder and we're going to want to click the dot minecraft and you'll see here then there's a few uh, folders and you're going to have one here called mods if you don't we're going to have to run forge so we're going to click start minecraft uh, then we're going to create a new profile we're going to call this one a joypad and we're going to click here use version and we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see there's uh, different versions of forge so i have two versions installed i'm going to use the newest one installed there point one four eight six. i'm going to click save profile we're going to select the profile again you have to be logged in as normal click, click play uh might have to download a few bits and it should start up here and I actually have it already installed in that folder, so I'll have four. So I'm actually going to just remove it. And we're going to start it again. Just You should see, you should have three mods. Uh, forge, Forge Loader, and I think the Coder mod. And it'll say down here what they are anyway. So, yeah, three mods, click mods. Is, yeah, Coder Pack, Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge itself. So we just click done, and we're going to quit the game again. That should have made all your folders, and you should have this mod folder in this dot minecraft folder. So I'm going to open the mods folder and I'm going to drag in our joypad mod. So I have it here. So I'm going to drag it in to uh, the mods folder and it's going to get rid of that uh, 02 because I already had it downloaded a few times. So that's all that it takes to install. You just put it in that folder and then we just click play and you should see if it installed correctly there should be Four, now there should be four mods installed because I have no other mods. So we we'll see here four mods loaded, four mods active. Click mods. Uh, we have the code again. We have the coder pack uh, for Forge mod loader, Minecraft Forge itself, and the actual joypad slash split screen mod. So you can see there plays Minecraft split screen using gamepad controllers. That's fine. We click up, uh, done. So that's it already installed now. Now, we haven't actually configured our controllers yet. We've just prepared Minecraft to be ready for it. So I'm going to, again, quit the game. And there's a few... There's mainly you're probably going to be using two controllers. An Xbox 360 controller, or maybe an Xbox One controller, or a PS3 or PS4 controller. If you're using a PS3 controller, you're going to want a tool called DS3 Tool. You can get that by uh, just searching Google for it. So again, DS3 2. Now I have found that the one in Source Forge for me doesn't work. It's a newer version, but it doesn't seem to load properly. 
So I downloaded the one on Saftanic, the 0 0.7 one. Just click free download. Again, install it. Same thing. And we're going to go here to, that's the old version. We're going to go here to the uh, DS3 tool. Now let's type in here uh, DS3. It should bring up this window. And I already have my controller paired with Bluetooth. So you just, I'm just going to connect it there and you should see it should say connected. If you wanted to initially do it with Bluetooth, you have to uh, plug it in. Then go to uh, driver manager, ring of pop up, click yes. Uh, just tick everything, install all, and it will install your controller. Then after you've done that, we'll go here, just enable it. And you can make sure it's enabled by uh, setting the actual LEDs on your controller and clicking enable. You also want it to be an X input because that makes the PS3 controller look like a Xbox 360 controller to the computer. And then to Bluetooth pair, you just call Bluetooth pair. When it's plugged in, you're going to have to obviously have your Bluetooth adapter. Your, your controller is going to be plugged in by USB. And you're going to click pair and that's all that's to it. So again, uh, Bluetooth, I have Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth controller. X input default. I haven't changed anything. I have the motors turned up a bit because it's, I like the vibration for racing games and stuff. So just enable. Uh, you can double check that it's actually working if you, your LEDs aren't really working. Just click vibration test and the controller will actually vibrate. So that's the controller now installed. A PS3 controller. Xbox controller you just plug it in and it'll work. Which is a really nice feature. So I'm just going to click play here. I'm going to maximize this window. Uh, and you'll see there now I have a little cursor. I'm actually controlling that with the PS3 controller. So I'm going to go here, single player, survival mode, uh, play selective world. And we should see, I'm not using my gamepad controller. You can see there the mouse is moving. So yeah. That's how you install the uh, joypad mod. And just as a little quick side thing, if you want to do two players, it's going to uh, move that over here. We can start up another Minecraft. Now you're going to need an, an extra password for this. So, uh, oh, I don't have it installed. Uh, so I'm just going to log in here now to another account I know. And all you have to do is click play. Yeah, will again open up another window. And again, you're gonna need to just plug in two controllers. You can swap through the PS3 controllers here. With that joke, with the down arrow. But we again now can just uh, click single player. Actually, I'm gonna open this one to LAN back, multiplayer, it should be open there in the LAN, join the server, uh, yeah, and that one should work. Uh, just as a quick side note as well, as well to this, so you can use this for split screen, but you can also, if you're using two controllers, you'll have to go here into controls, and you can see here, uh, your different controllers will actually be here, so on this one, it's uh, actually turn it on for that one. Sorry, no. Turn it off. I'm, I'm turning. This one's a keyboard. So this one shouldn't get controlled. Whereas this one over. Oh, Jesus. This one over here. You'll see controls and the controller's on. So if you have two controllers, just click the left and right arrow and you'll see you'll have two controllers. And that's basically it. So yeah, um, I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did. Second now. Oh wait, that's the controller one. Ah, uh, jeez. Controls on back. There we go. And now you're back to game. So yeah, um, that's all for this tutorial. I hope it helped. If it did, please leave a like and comment. Or if it didn't help, uh, just tell me how I, did, uh, how I can't help. Uh, I know every computer is different and stuff like that. So yeah, um, thanks guys for watching and 
I suppose I shall see you again. Goodbye.